All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to game. Well, I believe this is game number one in a series between Tho and Remind. Um, this was taken from um, some tournament level play. I'm not exactly sure which. I can't read all of the Chinese websites that help me determine everything. But let's go ahead and break things down already. We see Moon spawning as the blue night elf over here on the top left hand side of the map. This is going to be Twisted Meadows. Meanwhile, we can see an Ancient of War is being placed down. Altar of Elders is curiously missing, most likely indicating, or 99.9% .9 indicating that it is going to be a Tavern Hero. In the opposite corner, we have Tho spawning as the Red Human. Now, it seems like people try to constantly correct me on how to say Tho's name. And hold on one moment. All right, sorry about that. Had to take the phone call. I'm expecting some important calls later on. So hopefully that wasn't too big of a headache for you guys. Anyways, so Tho's name, I know it's TH triple zeros. Uh, it doesn't actually stand for Tho. It actually stands for three eggs or Samdan or Sandan, depending on how you want to, well, what dialect. Um, I believe ma Mandarin is Sandan and Cantonese is Samdan and well that's all there really is to it so and once again every three months or so I have to push that out there because someone well it seems like everyone on the internet just wants to be right and they automatically assume someone is wrong all the time anyways let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening here we can see that the altar of elders is nearing completion there's a wisp hanging out at his local pub waiting to hire is it going to be a dark ranger beast master goblin tinker goblin alchemist nope it is going to be the beast master now placing on a quill beast as though marching across the field using militia and going after the ogre magi creep camp on the bottom left it looks as though it is going to be a fat <laughs> Excuse me, fast expansion attempt. No big surprise there. Archmage will get to level 2 fairly fast. Going to be able to pick up Claws of Attack plus 9. Giving that Archmage essentially 33% more range damage per attack. Very, very strong there. And the Beastmaster, all he's really done so far is summon the Quill Beast that is nearly dead due to timed life. Beastmaster going to be heading off over here. Oh, Tome of Intelligence now going to get picked up. Oh, Archmage gets to level 2. Water Elemental going to get taken down here. Quill Beast taking a bit of damage. Archmage could drop another Water Elemental to try and protect. Decides not to do so, but there are a whole bunch of Quill Beasts in the area running around. We should be looking at perhaps an Arcane Tower and then followed by some sort of, what, Town Hall? If he does want to set up an expansion. Meanwhile, back off to the north. Ancient of War absorbing a large bit of damage. And is, is going to be coming into a bit of a problem. There are Double Wisp trying to repair it. As we do see a Potion of Greater Healing and Slippers of Agility. Alright, let's see uh, what's going to be happening now. Back down across over here. Town Hall is going to get upgraded. Um, um, yeah, Town Hall is going to be upgraded. Footman are already heading off to the north. As we are looking at uh, the town hall get, getting pushed into or getting constructed now, we'll see what the follow-up plan is going to be as the Archmage is now pushing pressure back onto the Beastmaster who has picked up a potion of greater healing and those slippers of agility footmen are going to try and run some defense onto that Beastmaster, but the Beastmaster going to get in some easy, easy quill shots onto those footmen. The fast movement attack, the fast movement speed of those quill beasts but the medium armor means that they will fall at the hands of footmen fairly fast as we are looking at this expansion nearing completion here. Now, Beastmaster is um, sitting at level 2. We are not upgrading the tier 2, so we are not going to be seeing any additional uh, heroes join in on the fight as the Archmage, with some help of a Water Elemental, uh, eventually should be able to push all of these units back. Quill Beast now down to 8 hit points. Another Quill Beast is going to be added in here. Are we going to perhaps see a Staff of Teleportation come across here in just a moment? as a water elemental now wa wa walking on over to try and put pressure back onto this quill beast and quill beast pressuring this expansion back off to the north we see a lot of split action all across the board archmage sitting at level two gonna try and perhaps wander on inside here and moon is actually in serious trouble 
The expansion is already down. Moon has not really put down any real pressure at all as we are now looking at the keep upgrade. So in terms of tech, tech upgrade, he's actually going to be able to get ahead. The economic upgrade is going to soon take fold. However, we are looking at Huntresses now and the Huntresses could cause a lot of problems with that bounce glaive damage. No guard towers as of yet. Water elementals are going to be extremely important and there is enough mana on that Archmage to get that up in just a moment. Meanwhile, back off to the north here, it looks as though the Beastmaster wants to get to level three and it is going to go ahead and try and take down all of these units staff of teleportation coming in archmage joins in on the fight ready to put in some pressure footman now joining in on the fight as well as a forest troll berserker trying to get run away is it going to end up getting taken down yes it does the claws of attack plus nine really really having a profound impact there taking down that unit archmage getting closer and closer to level three ancient of war does get taken down but at the hands of creeps as we're now looking at Huntresses putting pressure here. Arcane Tower, Guard Towers were not upgraded. And the Footmen, well, the Footmen are not that strong against those Huntresses. And now with Archer and Forest Troll Berserker reinforcement, without the Fen, those Footmen are going to fall rather fast. Peasants, are they going to try and re repair the Scout Tower? No, they are not. That is just going to get straight up canceled. Meanwhile, Archmage is sitting at level 2, needs to get a little bit more. Beastmaster now up to level 3 with Scroll of the Beast and the Potion of Greater Healing. They could actually put down a lot of pressure very, very quickly with that bonus damage. Forest Troll Berserker could actually perhaps just um, walk back. Everyone else should stay in the fight to leave all of that pressure on as the Quill Beast is at level 2 now with Bloodlust. Or excuse me, Frenzy. That looks like Bloodlust. Archmage sitting at level 3 with Brilliant Aura. We'll get back up to 125 here. The Huntresses are now going to have a bit of a harder time. And what is really going on? The Beastmaster really should have used that Scroll of the Beast much, much earlier to try and turn the tides here. Water Elementals joining in on the fight. The Time Life not looking good. Beastmaster down to 50 hit points. Units are now just pretty much going to be running back as the Huntresses are well, leaving in the tail end back here. Archmage getting in some easy damage. Once more, Forest Troll, Shadow Priest healing up that Beastmaster. He's already back up to about a, well, almost 100 hit points. Does have a potion of greater healing though, so we'll be able to get back up to 600 in, well, no time flat. Moon wells are, well, relatively empty here, but there are three full moon wells, so he should be able to heal back up in just a second. Meanwhile, back down to the south, Panda is joining in on the fight. The Panda, a very, very smart call as we're now looking at guard towers being added and an arcane tower. The guard tower, arcane tower will fortify this location, making it so that those huntresses are no longer going to be able to pressure. And we are still sitting only at tier one by moon. If Moon wants to end this game, he needs to end it quickly. He's not going to be able to um, really win in a long, drawn-out war. Though simply has too many resources, he's too set up at this expansion location, and it's only going to get better. Not quite sure why the Scroll of Regeneration wasn't used also on those peasants here, but the two guard or one guard tower, one arcane tower is going to make short work of the summons as we are now looking at the Huntresses looking to put pressure on the main base. The main base has one guard tower and one guard tower only as dual arcane sanctums are being constructed. All right, arcane sanctum is going to get taken, taken down. You can see the Huntress is just going to be able to focus this down very, very faster. Are they going to be able to get the necessary damage? No, they are not. Breath of Fire coming across multiple units. And perhaps the Huntresses just uh, start poking down at the Altar of Kings. The Altar of Kings will actually take a lot of damage as we now try to come back the other way. Huntress is now getting in position here. Forest Troll Shadow Priest in the wrong place at the wrong time, but does get a killing abolish magic off uh, there's the scroll of the beast now being used Our, and we do also have a scroll of healing and that's a very very strong scroll of healing moon with the foresight to not try and put pressure onto the main base breath of fire missing their target as the beast master now looking to pull back here all right quill beast taking far too much damage beast master um well 51 over 54 supplies so there's only about a four gold per second difference or 40 percent difference between the two armies scroll of the uh, scroll of healing could be added in as the ancient protectors are going to be added in as well scroll of healing now used beast master currently surrounded is going to be able to survive trying to make its way back out there's the potion of healing there's the walk out and the huntresses with that glaive bounce absolutely tearing apart this army here all right footman now going to get taken down beastmaster going after footman after footman is he going to be able to finish off yes another one there and the supply count all of a sudden dropping to 43 over 54 
as the Ancient of Protectors are going to be doing the long, slow walk to try and, well, get into position down across here. All right, Huntresses have taken a lot of damage here. All of the Huntresses now trying to go ahead and get within range will be able to finish off this guard tower in a matter of seconds. You can see, well, actually, that's a lot of repairing peasants. But that Glaive Bounce will eventually take its toll on all of those units. Beastmaster now seeing that level 4. However, the units are now putting pressure here. No easy escape. Did Moon push in too far as the, all of the footmen are now trying to heal back up? Ancient Protectors, however, co offering cover rocks um, to try and protect this location here as a new Altar of Kings is now being constructed only to have it be destroyed once again. Huntress getting pelted down as a pincushion as the Beastmaster in serious trouble down to 410 hit points and dropping quickly. All right. We can see that the Ancient Protector trying to fight all of this back here. We are going to be losing a barracks. We do see workshops now being added over here in addition to an Arcane Sanctum as the Ogre Mauler joining in on the fight as well. This Guard Tower sitting at 48 over 54 supply. Supply count. A lot more peasants you have to remember by the other army, meaning that it is not going to have as nearly as large of a standing army. All right, in comes the attacks here. Wow, that Water Elemental, that range was just a bit too far as we now see some repairs coming across. All right, Footman trying to stay alive. You can see all of these units are just slowly pu pulling back here. This one Ancient Protector should really be uprooting and getting into a better spot to try and take down all of these buildings here. All right, heavy armor here. Beastmaster taking a lot of damage. You can see an Ancient of Wonders being built in the backfield. Not quite sure what it's being used for or how it will be used as well. As we are now looking at the footmen trying to put pressure back onto the Ancient Protectors. Huntresses are going to be able to get in some Glaive Bounce across multiple units. Sorceresses are now slowed up a bit as the Beastmaster Cloak of Shadows double forest troll berserkers and a forest troll shadow priest really doing its work here all right down across here damage is slowly getting added back up slowly but surely wisp now trying to get backed off here ogre mauler trying to get in position this ancient protector should perhaps just should be rooted not rooted at all and that is going to be a problem. Breath of Fire going across multiple Wisp as the Ancient Protector. Well, the damage is going to start to stick as there are no more Wisp nearby. All right. One Wisp, two Wisp, three Wisp joining into the party as the Beastmaster tries to push back this attack here. All right. There is also a Hawk in play. The Hawk with that magic attack should really be going after the footmen. The footmen are really the ones causing issues and problems as that range could really start to have a profound impact. Breath of Fire taking down of a couple of units. There goes another Wisp. Only one Wisp left. Beastmaster should be using a Clarity Potion or something. The Ancient of Wonders, perhaps a Potion of Healing to try and fight all of this back here as the, there is only one Ancient Protector left. All right, more attacks coming across. Footman with the Fend is really saving the day. Panda now down to 20 hit points, down to 11 as it does get taken down. Beastmaster is sitting nearly at level 5. Will it get finished off here? That's the big question as the Beastmaster doesn't get the last bit of experience as I believe the Ancient Protector got the final blow. All right, Archmage chasing after that Huntress. Huntress, however, has in fact um, gone in or, or shadow melded right there as the Water Elemental could get taken down. Water Elemental getting taken down would be a very, very large large impact game there as we see the mortar team down to 33 hit points down to seven hit points and now we see all the units being forced to back off again beastmaster does get to level five before teleporting out but that may be the end of this push economically speaking moon needs to be able to rebound and get back into this game in a hurry 58 over 61 over 66 compared to 48 over 60 that is not good at all the economic advantage has really really shifted things in favor of tho moon has dealt more damage has killed more units and is still losing the game since he did not he was not able to stop that early early expansion now the beastmaster sitting at level five uh, thunder lizards could become a possibility here very very difficult to get it though as we are now um going after the forest troll trappers and the remainder of these units trying to get every bit of gold that you can get out as the beastmaster now heading back down to the south all right panda looking to get to level three are we going to see any extra heroes come across here let's take a look at this this hawk 21 to 25 damage it looks like it is 
uh, the level two or level could be the level three hawk. Not 100% sure about that. Beastmaster could be dropping some more quill beast, trying to get in a little bit more experience once more. We'll see where all of these units are perhaps traveling to, but gold is, well, a liability. The Beastmaster, yes, picked up one scroll of healing, but the near or gonna get close to level um well almost level five about four and a half four and three quarters meanwhile the panda is already sitting at three and with that breath of fire it could in fact get very dangerous very quickly all right here there's one hawk is it going to be able to focus down that guard tower guard tower taking a lot of damage will eventually get take or will be able to finish off that hawk there Beastmaster unable to squeeze on through quill beast now coming across going to be going after some of these buildings as well as there is a little bit of a split attack base race now coming underway as though knowing that hey you know what i have more bases than you i'll gladly trade one of my bases for your only base and that will give me the victory 43 over 40 supply moons gg is pretty much eminent not much that can be done as we see all the units are now well rushing away and there is the game though taking game number one Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.